Okay, so the first thing we have to do is we have to raise temperature from minus 10 degrees C to zero degrees C. So the energy required for this is given by M times C. Now this is the heat capacity of ice times the change in temperature. So we've got 40 grams, so 40 times 10 to the minus 3. The heat capacity of ice, if we look it up, is 2090. And then the change in temperature is going from zero, from minus 10 to 0, so that's 10 degrees. Solving that on the calculator, we end up with 836 joules. Okay, so now we've got ice at 0 degrees C. Next, energy goes into melting the ice. So the energy required for that is Q is equal to ML. And so that's 40 grams of ice. And the latent heat of fusion for water is 3.33 times 10 to the 5. So solving that on the calculator, we end up with 13,320 joules is required for this step. Next, we have to raise the temperature from 0 degrees C to 100 degrees C. This is now all water. So Q is equal to MC water times the change in temperature, which is equal to 40 times 10 to the minus 3 times 4,186 times the change in temperature, which is 100 degrees. Solving this on the calculator, we end up with 16,744 joules. Okay, now it's at 100 degrees. So now the energy goes into changing its state. It, we're changing it from liquid water into gas. So Q, so change to gas. So Q is equal to ML of vaporization in this case, which is 40 times 10 to the minus 3 times 2.26 times 10 to the 6. So this on our calculator is 90,400 joules. This is by far the biggest energy so far. So we need a lot of energy to change from a liquid to a gas, at least for water. And then we have to change the temperature of the steam. So raise temperature from 100 degrees C to 110 degrees C. So that's Q mass times the heat capacity of the steam times the change in temperature. So that is 40 times 10 to the minus 3. The heat capacity of steam is 2010 times the change in temperature, which is an increase of 10 degrees. Solving that, we end up with 804. Okay, so the total energy, we just have to add this one, 836 plus 13,320 plus 16,744 plus 90,400 plus 804 joules gives us 122,104 joules which we should really give to three significant figures, so that's 122 kilojoules of energy is required.